In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the shape keys in conjunction with the particle system, and maybe we'll try and create like a um, water sprinkler effect, you know, so where you adjust the nozzle and it changes the shape of the water being sprayed. So a couple things we'll look at though in here. Here's a basic plane that we'll start with, and I have the four vertices in the center selected. I just subdivided it once. Now maybe I wanted to start this with a round shape, and say if I press S Shift Z, it made it a little more circular like that. And then I wanted to subdivide here. If I press if I press all of them and I press subdivide, then it starts subdividing like this. And that works. But now let's compare that though to taking this object back down to a square. Go over here and get the multi-resolution modifier, which I like to use. And I'll subdivide it a couple times like this. And I'll apply it. Come over here and I'll look at it. And now let's subdivide. And notice there's some differences as far as the way the subdivision plays it, the way the mesh is laid out. All right, so I'm going to stick with this for stars. And you can try either way, but they both have some advantages, okay? So in here, this will be my first basic shape, so I'm going to go over here to the button right here with the little triangle on it here, object data. And for the shape keys, that'll be my basic shape or my base shape. They call it the basis shape. Okay, and I'm going to want to change, the, maybe this is my nozzle, and it's going to have a particle system coming out of it. We'll make a particle system real quick. Crank up the lifetime a little bit. Uh, you know, I like to work out of the local axis, so I'm just going to change this to local axis, knowing Z is in the positive direction. I'll turn the zero to normal, and I'll just put it up to Z like that. So when I press Alt A, there's the particles shooting out like that. That'll be our water effect. Okay, now let's go back in to the object data to the shape keys. So that's our first shape that we want to use. So we see which way uh, the water is going. Now, let's come in here and change it to another shape. Let's go get another key. All right, And then I'll go back into edit mode here. I just grab that center vertex. I'll make sure I'm in proportional editing and maybe I'll make a rounded type nozzle spray. All right, so I'm going to press GZ and move it up and then I can use my wheel mouse to control how that wants to go. See, I'm not getting that edge, but maybe I'll get that edge there. And there we go. They have a rounded shape like that. So then in here, you'll notice since I'm in key one and I've changed it to this shape, I leave edit mode. You don't see it in here until I come over here and change it here. And there the shape does exist. All right. So you only see it in edit mode or you see it when you're up to the full shape. This allows you to transition between from the original shape to this next shape. So I'm just going to leave it at zero and then I'm going to make another key for another shape and then I'll go back into edit mode because now here we're, just, we're pretty much looking at this when you're at z even though I'm on key two and I'm, if, when I'm at zero you're basically looking at what the original shape is. All right, so this time I'm going to make the effect uh, of this. I'll use this sharp proportional editing, and I'll press G, Z, and we'll see the difference. Oh, yeah, that's a nice effect. I like that. Let's see. Okay, that'll be our new nozzle like that, and it should automatically set that shape. We leave edit mode and go check that out. Yep. There it is. All right, now let's see what the particle system is actually doing here. We'll just use these first couple of shapes. So I press Alt A, and the particles are zooming up like that. All right, and now if I go to key one and I change the shape, let's see what happens. It's going to have to start from the beginning. And the particles are still shooting up. Okay, and there's the reason why. That's now I have to go back and change the particle system. So the, the Z direction, it's local, right? I've used the local Z, so it's straight shooting up. But now let's go back to the particle system and change the, get out of the local and use the normal because the normal is vertices normal to the face. Let's go into edit mode, press N over here. Come down here, press this box under normal. And you can see which way the normals are pointing. They're per these are vectors. They're basically pointing perpendicular to the face of each 
one of these faces like this. So that's the direction I want the particles to shoot. So that's why I'll use normal now in this case. And I'll crank it up like that. And then when I leave edit mode, now we can see the normals are going out that way. Okay, so then we'll go back to object data. And I'll go to key, I'll just turn this down to there. I'll go to key two. And I'll turn that up. And now they're shooting out in a different direction. All right, so just change it between the two. Okay, so we have that running. So now let's go to the shape key editor. We need a new window here. Might as well just keep it going at the same time. And we're going to go to the dope sheet. And then from it within the dope sheet, up here we need the shape key editor, like that. And then on the, we'll go to, say, we'll leave it at the main shape. At, we'll stop this for a second. Say at frame one, I'm just going to set this here, notice if I just change that like that, it sets keyframes like this. So then I'm going to go to frame 50. I'm going to make a new keyframe. Now I'm going to turn, let's say, this key 2 down. And I'm going to turn key 1 up. And that automatically sets that keyframe. All right. And then I'm going to go to up to frame 100. I'm going to set both of them up. So maybe this one, or maybe a combination of the two. A little bit of that, and a little bit of that. Right? So I'm kind of mixing and matching those two together. And there I've set them both. So now I've set my keyframes for that animation. Now let's run it. All right, and then the last one I'll say maybe set at 150 and I'll just bring it back to zero like that. Okay, now let's just go full screen and see what happens. There's the last portion of it. Then you'll start seeing this. There it is from the beginning, transitioning, transitioning, and transitioning. Okay, all right, well, that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.